Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I did want to um, do a little update and I'm gonna let you know I'm videoing this on my phone because I'm having a lot of trouble with my um, Wi-Fi at my house. It is just not working well enough to upload anything. So like when I do upload something, it takes three or four days to upload and 90% of the time it fails. Like a hundred times before I finally get an upload. So like the last video I uploaded was the Grandpa Reacts number one video. I have three of those to upload, but my internet just won't do it. And they're not even like excessively long or anything. So it's just stupid. So once my school starts again and I'm at the college, I can upload things a lot easier, but I didn't wanna like leave you guys hanging for that long. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this video here, try to make it short enough that I can um, upload it from my phone and go ahead and do it that way. So this is just gonna be like a little life update about me and how I'm doing. Um, my husband is still on deployment. So I don't know if you've ever seen these videos before, any of my videos, but if you didn't know, my husband is deployed. He's been gone since February um, of 2018 and it is now January of 2019. And he, uh, so almost a year, he's been gone for 11 months-ish. And um, yeah, so he's still gone. Um, but I guess just, I'm gonna go into some more like feelings on my, deployment and like how I've been feeling. Um, also, if you didn't know, I have had a baby since he left and he's never got to meet our child yet. So I have a three month old named Ayla and she is um, just growing like a weed. He's um, seeing videos and pictures and things like that, but it just makes it hard because he doesn't get to like be here for the milestones or get to like hold her and things like that. When he talks to us on the phone, she definitely like pays attention to the phone and actually like looks and sees him and talks to him back and forth. Like she's very intuitive of the phone and like him being there and she knows his voice. It's just hard because um, he can't actually physically be here. So that's gonna be a crazy day when he finally gets home. <sighs> but for right now, it just doesn't feel real. So I feel like even until like the day of it's just not gonna feel real that he's actually coming home because life has gotten so like normal here this is like what life is now and this is just how life is and it just feels like this is normal when it really it isn't normal but for almost a year this has been our normal so we're currently leaving at my grandpa my grandpa's house and he uh was living alone before that. So it's just my grandpa, me, and the baby. But we're living a lot closer to my family because I needed that support here around me when um, I was gonna be away from him for a whole year and I wasn't gonna have anyone to help me with the baby. If you didn't know, I'm also a full-time college student. So I'm going to school full-time, trying to raise a baby um, pretty much on my own. I mean, I have help when I need to, but like for the most part, nights and all of that, it's on my own. And, um, yeah, so um, right now I am feeling pretty good actually. So like I go through like phases. So it's kind of like I feel good for a while and then um, I'll get down for a little while about it. Mostly if I just think about like memories and stuff. But at this point I feel like we're getting closer to the end and it feels like looking forward to what's coming more than like looking back and what he's missing up to now it looks more it like in my mind it's working more to like oh guess what it's gonna be so fun when Alex gets here because we can do this this and this so I'm getting like more excited than um feeling sad about it and that's awesome because um really this whole time I feel like I've been doing pretty good it's definitely not easy if anyone ever tries to tell you that this is easy they're lying because um or they just don't really care that's the problem because if you love someone like that um it's just a real hard situation to be away from them that long I do get to speak to him so I I um feel bad for those women also dealing with this who have like navy men who can't talk to them like very often at all like I used to talk on the phone to Alex maybe twice a month um recently he's been able to call a lot more than that which I'm very thankful for and um Everything is going well with us. Um, he and I are both very, very excited for him to get home and to 
just start our new life, start our life over basically. And, um, and like another little thing. So when Alex gets home, so basically up until this point, we got married in April. So he left in February. He got to come home for four days in April. In April, I had, like before he got home, I had to prepare, get our um, marriage certificates, everything ready. And then when he got home, we had a little marriage ceremony. It wasn't a wedding. It wasn't anything fancy. It was in our living room at our old house. My husband was there. His few, like his parents were there and his sister was there. And my uncle officiated my parents, my siblings, my best friend Hayden, and I had a couple other family members that came, but like an aunt and a cousin and their families. So, um, I had, we had like maybe, I don't know, 20 people there. That's it. And so, and we squished everyone into my house. So we got married and, um, since then we have spent four days together in almost like a year. So in April we'll hit one year of marriage and we'll have spent four days together in our, our in our entire first year of marriage, which that really sucks and it's really hard. Um, but it's also, that's what it is. So I would have never wanted to do this, um, any other way. I would have, yeah, I, I'm glad that we got married when we did. I'm glad that we went ahead and did it even though he was leaving. We'd been talking about marriage for a long time. We'd been talking about getting married for a long time. We just hadn't been able to yet. And so we had been talking about it coming up soon. And when we found out he was deploying, we had a four-day notice. So we found out four days before he had to pack his bags and be at the um, armory to leave. So... That was not a lot of time. And in those four days, we still already had to make a trip for him to go get some kind of like physical done. So like we had to go to Kansas City. I don't know. We live like two hours, two and a half hours from Kansas City. So we had to make a trip up there um, for him to do this physical thing in our four days. So that took up like over a day. We had to drive one day, spend the night, him do his physical the next day and drive home. So that took two of our four days. And then the other two days, we kind of just spent preparing, packing his bags, making sure he had everything he needed, going shopping for like soap and things that he needed to take with him. And um, I guess just spending the time together to like finalize like our last few days as a family or before I was, and I was only eight weeks pregnant when he left. So imagine that you, I was still wasn't showing. We knew I was pregnant. We found out about, I don't know, three or four weeks before, four, I guess four or five weeks before he left. So he left and um, I proceeded through the pregnancy on my own. That was really hard too because one of the things that I very much was like looking forward to is those moments that you spend with your husband where he gets to feel the kicks and he gets to, you know, like rubs on your belly and kisses for the baby and talks to the baby and sings to the baby, all that stuff I missed out on. So um, obviously like he could talk through the phone and stuff, but it's just not the same. He didn't get to like be there and actually like, you know, play with the baby, talk to the baby while she was in there too much because he left so early. So that's another thing that's really sad because um, she would have known his voice more if that would have been the case where he had a, more time, but that didn't happen either. So um, all in all, it was kind of just the worst time possible. And that's what I just kept thinking in my head. Why? Why now? Why does this have to happen at the worst time possible? If you also didn't know, my husband is National Guard. So I really in my head didn't have any like thought of him actually deploying. It was like for me that was like, okay, he's National Guard. It's like a last minute thing. Like or it's like a last resort thing. That's what I mean. It's a last resort thing if they have to send the National Guard out. So there's no way right now that they're going to need him anywhere. So, um, we don't have anything to worry about. Well, he, um, switched units and when he got to his new unit, that's when he found out there was a four day notice before his unit that he just switched to was deploying. He didn't know anybody in the entire unit, never had met a single person. He showed up for this deployment and met everyone that day. Um, so it was kind of like a mix up as well where nobody knew him. So they didn't know he was supposed to be with that group or whatever. So I ended up having to... Um, drive him to Manhattan to meet up with his group because they left him because they didn't think he was supposed to be with them. So it's kind of like all crazy. But all in all, I was like, why? Why now? Why is this the worst time possible? I'm just newly pregnant, ready to have our first baby together. And this would have been, and we are planning to get married, getting married, whatever. 
And so like this is the worst time. The first year of marriage, the first time we're having a baby, um, just all of that he was missing. And that's just so sad for me. But at this point, we're getting past all that, past all the negative, and I'm feeling good. I'm preparing for homecoming. I'm starting to like try to get things around. I have um, a couple signs that I need to make. I made one last night that's going to be um, one for the house, not to go out in public. But um, I have a couple more to make, and I um, just got a Cricut machine. So I may do some crafting videos as well, but my Cricut machine is coming in very helpful because I'm going to make shirts for all of us. So I'm going to bring our two-year-old Athena. Um, she is Alex's daughter. So I have two stepdaughters, Anaya and Athena. Athena is one of our daughters and she was with me um, a little bit around Christmas. I have a video I need to upload with her um, from Christmas <clears throat> time. It was like a little after Christmas, New Year's time. But um, yeah, so she's coming with me, Athena, and then I'll have the newborn baby. She's actually three months, not newborn. So the two kids, me, and then I think my sister's going to go because I need someone to photograph and video. Um, so everyone keeps telling me, make sure you have a video. Make sure you have a video. And I'm like, I'm going to try. <laughs> it's hard because I wanted to hire a phot photographer and a videographer. Money's just super, super tight right now. We just can't. And he's very much of more the reserved type, doesn't like that kind of thing. And so for him, that would be like way too much on him. And I kind of feel bad about that. I really, really am the type that likes to have those memories and have those things to save and look back on. And that really makes my heart hurt that I have a feeling that that might not happen. I might not get all the memories. I might not get all the video, all the stuff that I want. But, um... It's just going to have to be how it is, I guess, and I will uh, have whatever I do get, whatever my sister can get on the video or on my camera or her camera, whatever the case is. So, um, but anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. Life is good. Um, he's coming home fairly soon. I can't really give any dates. I don't really know dates. They're very weird about giving you like a for sure date in the military. It's kind of like all up in the air. And then you find out like a couple days before. Like, oh yeah, he's coming home here. And you're like, whoa, what? Okay, so I got to change all my plans so that I can uh, incorporate that. So anyway, I'm just ready for him to be home. Ready for life to start um, new. And I will update you guys more closer to the time or maybe when he gets home depending on when they pop that date on me so whenever it gets close to time I will be doing a day of vlog so I'm gonna wake up in the morning I'm gonna take you guys with me getting ready um, preparing getting the kids ready driving there my emotions how I'm feeling I'm gonna do all that in a vlog so I will um, see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I can start getting my internet to work so you can get my videos that I've been making. I have like a pile up of videos that I need to upload. So I will see you guys um, in the next one. See ya.